we're gonna try something different I've seen uh, some quill cases made out of uh, bladders before that look pretty neat and we was lucky enough to take a nice gobbler today and we're gonna see if uh, his crop I feel it's full of air right now but we're gonna see if it's uh, puncture free and make sure I didn't get any pellets going through it but we're gonna try and uh, see if we can use the crop off a of turkey and make a container to put uh, quills in so we'll get it opened up and we'll see what it looks like and go from there well we've got it opened up where you can you can see the crop and it looks like at this point I mean it's still it's holding there I don't think I got any pellets in there so what we're gonna do is uh, we'll go ahead and get this out and look at it and then we're gonna clean it up it's got a lot of extra membrane there's some muscles right towards the base there's gonna be some muscle and uh, of course there's some skin and a lot of fat around it but we'll go ahead and get this uh, cleaned up and, and uh, see if it's okay okay we've got it cleaned down now we got uh, the line heading to the throat and line heading to the crop and we're good we got uh, we got a solid uh, a solid uh, sorry not to the crop to the gizzard I mean but we got a solid uh, solid crop I think it's gonna work good so what we're going to do, I'll uh, disconnect this and then uh, and later we'll go ahead and clean it up, clean the inside good and then uh, finish taking, there's some more membrane on this side, uh, finish taking all the membrane off and then we're going to blow this up and uh, let it dry. Okay, there's our crop. We've got it all uh, cleaned out, uh, put water in it, slushed it around and washed it out and at this point I'm going to go ahead and uh, tie one of these off uh, probably up here close to the end and then we'll put a straw in this end and uh, put a string on that and get ready to once we get it all aired up then we'll we'll tie that off so I'll go ahead and show you the the setup and then we'll we'll air it up all right this is going to be interesting we have got uh, the one going to the gizzard is tied off the one going to the throat is that uh, we just got a straw going in that so I'll go ahead and we'll pinch it right here, we'll air it up, and then I'm going to tie it off right here. Now that, without a doubt, is probably one of the most interesting things you've probably ever seen. That looks like a regular balloon, too, but I didn't have helium. But we're going to, there's still a little bit of membrane. I don't know if that's going to focus. But I'm going to go ahead and clean it up just a little bit more. But basically, we're gonna just going to, I'm going to hang that up and, and let it uh, just air dry. And then, uh, I mean, that's that's a whole lot uh, bigger than I needed for quills, but I think that's going to work pretty cool. So we'll give it a try. Well, at this point, our turkey crop is totally dry. It's dried over dried overnight. And you can see it's just, it's, it's totally dry. So at this point, what we're going to do is we're going to take a, we're going to brain tan it, which would be a nice thing to do, but our uh, turkey took a terminal shot to the head, so uh, brains are not uh, usable. So we're going to use a couple egg yolks uh, in place of the brain, uh, mix those up, add just a touch of water with it, and then we're going to rehydrate uh, our turkey crop and then uh, start working it. Well, there's our two egg yolks minus the whites so we're gonna beat those up then we're gonna add just a touch of water to it just to give us a little more volume and then we're gonna pour that inside the the dried crop and start rehydrating it wouldn't that be enough All right, at this point, I'm going to go ahead and step. This is the larger the larger end. I'm going to leave this one on for now. Uh, go ahead and step this one off, and this is the one that we're going to pour our uh, egg yolk mixture into. So, I don't know if I can do this with two hands, so I'll uh, turn the camera off. Okay, I've got the end cut off. Now we're just going to make a little paper funnel, uh, insert that in there. Uh, be, be, 
the crop is extremely delicate. I mean, you can just see how easy it bends. So be very careful uh, when you cut this because it will it will tear. So now we're just going to put the funnel in, pour our egg mixture in, and then I'll get back with you. All right, we got our egg mixture, egg yolk mixture inside. And now we just start rolling it around, and it won't take it long to start to, to rehydrating. So we'll keep getting it till it's all covered inside. And then we'll, we'll pour it out in, back into the container and we'll start working it, the whole outside in it also until it uh, resaturates. All right, and at this point it's uh, been totally, uh, all the dry areas have been uh, soaked in the egg yolk mixture. So we're just going to let it to continue to soak for a while. Oh, I don't know, an hour or two, I'm going to make sure it soaks in there good. And then I'll kind of uh, uh, squeeze out the moisture. Of course, being very careful because it's a very, uh, very thin skin or membrane. And then uh, put it back in again. Then we'll then we'll start working it. Well, I've taken the crop out of the egg yolk mixture and, and uh, letting it start to air dry. I just blew a little air in it to keep it separated. But you can hear it starting to dry a little bit. And all I'm doing now is just where it's starting to dry, just to start to work that. And I'll just keep going as it uh, as it dries. So as soon as we get it all dry and get it all worked, I'll show you what it looks like. Well, here's the final um, softened turkey crop that we're going to use for uh, holding the porcupine quills. So it worked out good. I mean, boy, it is lightweight. It's probably one of the neatest things I've ever tanned. But uh, it's got the little hole where the comes from the throat, and then there's the other little hole where it heads to the uh, to the gizzard. So we've got a, a, a decent opening there, and it's it's pretty good size. It'll hold a lot of quills. So anyway, uh, hope you hope you liked it. So thanks for watching.